Okay, guys, I have genuinely discovered something that I need to show all of you as soon as possible. This is a Google AI Studio to Claude Code with convex boilerplate build. I think, in my opinion, this is the quickest and most secure MVP build so far. Sub agents plus an easy prompt. Let's talk about it. Just before we get into the video, guys, if you are interested in having one of these MVPs built for yourselves for a very, very good price and extremely quickly, come and talk to us. I have a team of developers behind me and we're currently looking for one or two or maybe even three projects to finish off 2025 and to start 2026. Come and talk to us today. There are still some appointments for tomorrow and also for next week. The link is in the description of the video. We move faster than traditional dev agencies and we're much cheaper than traditional dev agencies as well, obviously because we are backed by AI. I just want people to know I'm not the only developer on this. We do have an actual team of developers as well. Okay, guys, this is also in my school community. There's also a link to my school community in the description of this video. This is just a very small portion of the Vibe Coding with Claude Code section in the school community. The reason I'm using this is just because I have everything laid out like this. And also, guys, I will just quickly scroll. So if you do want to grab this for free without subscribing to the school, you can also just kind of have a look at the setup here. Okay. So let's run through this workflow. Now, the first thing you do need, of course, is something from AI Studio. So I'll just show you that process here. I'm just going to go switch accounts and go to Shopify Surfers. This is my premium one. Don't ask why. You can ask why if you want. We owe uh, Google a load of money on my income stream surfer one. So I had to make another one, basically. Okay, so we'll just grab this one here. This is just a very, very simple one that I made yesterday. It's just a one prompter. And all it does is you upload any image and it will generate like a vibe coded, sorry, not vibe coded. It will generate a kind of dramatic thumbnail asset from that image. This is actually something that I'm working on. Whether or not I'll release it as a SaaS, I'm not sure yet, but I am just kind of working on this just in the background. This is something that I needed, right? So I made it for me and then I'm thinking what to do with it. So what you, all you have to do is just press download app once you have one that you're kind of happy with, right? And then you can unzip it. Sorry, that's my uh, my RuneScape thing telling me I'm AFK. So let's just jump straight into things. So what we do is we do MKD example video 303, CD example video 303. And then let's just actually follow my school community thing because otherwise I'm just going to fuck this up. So the first thing we do is npx create convex at latest. So we'll press enter here. You might notice this is um, this is actually doing Next.js. I've decided to go with Next.js uh, just because I think it's it's best for SEO. So select Next.js, select AuthKit, hit enter here. Okay, so once that's been created, we can now CD into video 303 like that. And then npm run dev. What this will do is it will actually create the convex project. So create a new project. We'll call it video 303 and then cloud deployment. So this should be extremely quick and extremely fast. This will also open up the dashboard. This is your database. This is your backend, basically your hosted backend, right? So once this is running, which it's now running, uh, let me just jump back here. You can now do control C like this. So control C to exit out. And then you can do claw dash dash dangerously skip permissions like that. And now you're actually basically running everything inside Claude code, right? So ask Claude to start the project with npm run dev and ask it to familiarize itself with the commands to the CLI for convex. There we go. So I'll just send that URL to Claude code so it knows exactly what it's doing and how to use the um, convex CLI. The reason that it needs to be able to use the convex CLI, by the way, is so that it can actually read the function logs, basically, for convex. And then all we're going to do is grab that project from before. So this one here. 
and I'll drag this over like that, and then I'll get everything except that from this prompt here. You can just pause the video or whatever, take a screenshot of the uh, prompt here, and then you just hit enter, and then you come back in 10, 15 minutes, and you'll have a fully working OAuth enabled MVP. Now this does not include Stripe, Personally, I'm finding Stripe easier and easier to implement. Basically, just get Stripe running locally, get it running, super easy, super simple, and you don't actually have to do that much for Stripe. So you can see here this employed two sub-agents to basically do research on the structure of the React project that we got directly from Google AI Studio and also the boilerplate from Convex. Now what it'll do is it'll import the, pro the React project from Google AI Studio. If you don't know, Next.js is built on React. So transporting React, or I don't know if transporting is the right word, React to Next.js is fucking easy for this AI, right? So all it actually has to do, there we go, it now starts a sub-agent and it will basically do everything that I just said. So we'll let this run and we'll be back it's now 13.52. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, so we're now done. That was about, what, 20, 30 minutes? I'm not actually sure. Um, 20, 30 minutes, whatever. So what happens now? Let's see if it works. So this is what it created. Uh, there was obviously nothing there before, so this is purely everything that was created. Now, like I said originally, the main reason that I really like this setup is because it already has OAuth. So let's see. I press sign in, nothing happened. Sign up. Okay. Okay, it did work. I, I don't know what happened there. Uh, the first time I clicked it, it didn't work. So let's sign in slash sign up. I'm not sure what I'm even doing here. I don't know if I'm signing in or signing up, but there we go. So OAuth, let's see, should just work straight out of the box. There should be no issues here as far as I understand it. Okay, you can see that I am actually logged in now. Perfect. And you can see my projects. Perfect. New projects. Okay. That's my FK warning on RuneScape, don't ask. Browse, bang. Let's just select this one, for example. Oh, error, uploading image. Please try again. That's totally fine. So let's use, oh, okay. The image is too large. I'm not sure if that can even be fixed. So let's just try and find a slightly smaller image. I got 1.2 megabytes. Do I have anything that's... Okay, so there we go. Let's just use this beautiful image of me taken by a friend of mine. Not AI generated, I promise you. <laughs> oh my God, instant regret. <laughs> oh my God, instant, instant regret. This one's cool as fuck though. Anyway. Not important. You can see how we went. <laughs> you can see how we went from prototype to MVP in the shortest amount of time possible. There is something weird about logging out with this. I'm not sure what the issue is, but you can see bang bang bang. Let's sign in. So the sign in is weird as well. I'm not really sure what's happening here. There we go. That worked out time. And then we should be able to sign back into the same profile here. Beautiful, and then go to dashboard, and then my project, perfect. You can see that we have database, we have convex running, we have functions, no backend, pure front end, hosted database, hosted backend. Everything that can be, you know, hacked or attacked is on convex, which I believe is much more secure. Comment down below if you're a developer and I'm completely wrong, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to leave the video there. Check out the link in the description if you want to either A, join the school and get a little bit more help with Vibe Coding apps, and or B, if you want us to build an MVP for you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.